morning. So we are starting the day off taking a little drive. After looking through some fields and stuff, it's entirely too wet to uh, spread today. So we're going to go after some fertilizer. That way, when we do get the chance to spread and strip till, we have plenty of dry fertilizer in the barn. So right now, we're going to the fertilizer plant. Not sure why I just called it a fertilizer plant. It, uh, they don't make it there. Well, we're here. So we come up here to get our fertilizer. This is Nutrient Ag Solutions. This is their Washington Courthouse location. Most of their fertilizer for Southern Ohio comes out of these buildings, I believe. Pretty sure that's how they do it. Um, but anyways, we come up and get it ourselves and spread it ourselves because, well, there's quite a cost savings in doing that. The downside is, this is a, the downside is, it takes a long time. It takes, uh, takes time and it's uh, kind of inconvenient, but cost savings make up for it. So six months into our Brunt boots, let's see how they're holding up. Dad? Oh, it's good cheap. I use them, to, I get them wet, spray them, chemical on them. You know, I really like them, they're comfortable. I really like them. Probably the best shoes I've had for a long time. Still comfortable. Last time I talked to you guys, I hadn't done any work. Done some work now. They Hold still look pretty, pretty clean, BJ. Been there. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the treads are holding up. Super comfortable still. So six months in, would you buy? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I like them. I do like them. I just say it because I got them. I, I do like them. So I've also been wearing mine pretty much every day for six months. Holding up really well. Like you said, these boots were given to us uh, by Brunt uh, for a sponsored video. But the fact that we're still wearing them every day six months later, um, when we we given these boots, it was not a six-month deal. But... We put them on and they were extremely comfortable and they held up. Uh, I've, I've worn mine to several trade shows, done a lot of walking. I think BJ wore his. No, you didn't go to, you didn't go to, yeah. or, I can't remember if dad wore his. Yeah. And now <clears> got, I'm going to get some new ones. Uh, I like to, they got lace up small ones for. Uh, you want some summer boots. So I guess what we're saying is we're extremely happy with our Brunt boots. One of the other thing that I've been pretty impressed with, uh, we also got some Brunt pants and some Brunt shirts. I'm wearing a Brunt shirt now, and I've got all my Brunt pants. They are also just as uh, comfortable as their boots, but the boots in general, six months of wear, and I think I could probably get six more months out of these before the bottoms of the soles are completely wore off. I'm not a small guy either, and they're holding up very well. Very squishy underfoot. I feel like they are the most comfortable boot I've ever worn in the shop. Would you guys agree with that opinion? Yep. If you guys are interested in a pair of Brunt boots, there is a discount code link in the description. You can get $10 off your purchase today with a risk-free trial by going to bruntwear.com slash bfv10. That's bruntwear.com slash bfv10. And use code bfv10. Like I said, there's a link in the description. I'm serious, these are the best boots that I've worn as far as comfort. Um, I like the looks of them. Overall, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Check those out and uh, let me know your experience with them. Smile. All right, let's go spread fertilizer. Bye, donkeys. Bye, goats. <laughs> so now we're gonna spread some fertilizer. We're gonna throw some make sure this thing's empty. Yep, it is. We'll put some potash in the fertilizer spreader. And uh, we're gonna cover some ground. It's finally not windy. Seems like we have to really watch the wind more than we ever used to for fertilizer. Um, I know someone's gonna say, well, in Kansas it's more windy. It is, I've been there. I don't remember it being this windy in years past. Like every year, uh, it's hard to find a window to spread. But the 
wind's fairly calm today. So we're gonna get after it. Now, you may wonder why don't you, why don't you put an air boom in? Well, I'll tell you, we spread lime. We spread a lot of lime, so that air boom won't flow lime through it, so we can't do that. If we could, though, we probably would because those would be more accurate, I believe, and the wind wouldn't be a big issue at all. All right, we'll go hop in the uh, float or loader and get this thing ready to roll. We gotta caffeinate though. some ground in a hurry. itself. I love it when that happens. So we do have a twin bin in this spreader and both my bins have potash in them. Uh, we're going to be putting three products on this field so uh, for storage purposes right now we're just doing potash and then once the hoop barn is emptied out we'll put the other two products in the barn. But anyways I just had to switch uh, bins. Front bin is empty now. Uh, now we can keep on going. The twin bin definitely speeds stuff up when you're doing two products for one product it's not necessary but it's uh quicker to go about it this way versus uh whoop. quicker to go about it this way versus uh uh quicker to go 
about this way versus taking the bin out and putting it back in. Kind of pointless to do that. Unless we're doing lime, that's about the only time we take the twin bin out. Since we're spreading all these fields multiple times, we have to check it off to make when we're done. Otherwise, you, you can't remember it. I've tried to remember, it doesn't happen. Now we need to just find the next field to go to. So I got a clipboard here that has uh, the rates for all the fields, which ones get fertilizer, which ones don't, all that kind of stuff. So with the potash, we don't have a floor. There's some fields that just don't need any. Uh, with Mez 10, we put a floor on that of 80 pounds per acre. The roof is whatever the state says it is. So Miss Kayla has got what she came for. Lunch is over, so she gone. There goes George, getting this mowing in. Well, we've got all the dry fields that we can get in. We about got stuck once. We made a heck of a rut. I'm sure when Dad goes to spray that field, I'm gonna hear about it. We definitely don't like tracking a field up if we can get around it. Kind of one of those deals where I couldn't tell it was wet until I was already in it, and then it was a big wet spot. Should have known it was there, oh well but that's gonna be the last that I can spread for the day, unfortunately. We still got several fields. We don't have a lot of product left to apply. We just got a lot of fields to go to. They're just all gonna be a little bit on the wetter side. We've done all the fields that are dry. The ones that are, we have left, uh, yeah, they're just a little bit too tacky today. Well, how's the beaning? Slow. Kids. Yep, we're pretty good sweeping. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you would do me a favor and thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Drop us a comment. Um, the busy season is upon us, so um, for those of you wanting to see the Massey Ferguson in action, I can confirm it is a sweet tractor. You just have to wait patiently. First planning video should be out in about a week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.